Back in the early 1980s, a new professional wrestling league began broadcasting over cable television. The show was titled NWF Wrestling, but the NWF was not your normal wrestling program. The entire league was comprised of kids. I'm gonna start pounding Rita on us two. Then at the end, one of us two is gonna come back and we're gonna get the three count. It is the home of the National Wrestling Federation, an organization which grew out of a basement over a year ago, and now it's, it's interesting because you, you know, you think, well, how could we put a show on TV? And pretty quickly, we went from being in a basement to being in a studio, you know, again with multiple cameras and a direction room, and to, you know, literally buying a professional ring and, and people paying to watch a bunch of teenagers wrestle. It's, it's amazing. We wanted it to be just like the WWF was. And these kids that you see now just beating each other in the head with uh, light bulbs and all that stuff, that's not wrestling. That's just, you know, brutality is what that is. Um, and it can be somewhat fun to watch, but where's the ring? You know, where's where's the turnbuckles? Where's the lights and the props and the cameras and, and the wrestlers and the masks and all that? You don't see that. Sean was able to do that back way back before anybody was even thinking about doing it. It seemed like there was always people who wanted to be on our show who were really just too old. You know, it was a kids' wrestling show. They were adults. <laughs> we were kids. Yeah, and, and nobody wanted to see them. The novelty was that it was kids' wrestling, and they didn't care about these guys who couldn't make it into real wrestling. It was fun to watch kids perform. And that's what the whole thing was about. Uh, I, I remember Steve Engstrom wanted to have increasingly more control he started going in a you know this is professional wrestling from this is kids professional wrestling and I, I think Steve thought he was gonna make some money out of this somehow and how could this guy that I not only, I gave him his start in this he wouldn't even be in this if it wasn't for me letting him on our show how could that person do a 180 and turn his back on me. From the birth of its creation in 1984 on bed mattresses, to live public events with a nationwide cable television program, to a final act of sheer betrayal. This is NWF Kids Pro Wrestling, The Untold Story. <laughs>